Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a bit of seismic activity and meteorology to cover, but we've got just one top story today in science, and it's the big one released yesterday about the Earth's core. It's changing shape. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on the Sun, where we find only small flaring events, no major eruptions, just small filament snaps with the caboose of the long coronal hole facing us now. NOAA expects the second solar wind stream enhancement on Thursday or Friday, minor geomagnetic storms. And while we watch for that, we'll also be watching for the return of significant solar flares. Bit of a breather right now, with only tiny M-class events and a mostly blank central longitude sunspot situation, we'll be watching the bigger ones over on the left as they turn in to face the Earth. Solar flare risk is relatively low here with the plasma filaments presenting only a slightly higher eruption risk. Main thing on tap today is the continued coronal hole solar wind stream and knowing we've got one more expected towards the end of the week. Checking seismicity. Folks, the Santorini swarm below Greece keeps growing. Magnitude 5s continue hitting rare locations around it like in the western mouth of the Mediterranean here. Really hoping the supervolcano calms down below those islands. Japan snow records, reporting on this the second time in a week, outrageously cold and snowy start to 2025 for the island nation, and unfortunately the events have turned deadly. But for our top story today, we dive deep, through the crust and the mantle and all the way down to the core, specifically the inner core, outer core barrier region, the boundary where they meet. Not only has a new study detailed and confirmed a shifting sub and super rotation cycle of about 60 years in the core, but more importantly, the inner core, thought to be a rock-solid sphere, is changing. It is deforming, they say by up to thousands of feet in some places, the rock-solid center of the planet, not so much. And they're trying to tell us here that they were wrong before. It's actually always been moldable and we just caught a rare surge the last 20 years. <laughs> I don't think so. Not with everything else that isn't supposed to change. Changing right now during the Earth disaster cycle reset, ongoing now, and expected to peak in severity in the next 20 years. It is the subject of our documentary, covering the strange behavior of our star, the magnetic pole shift, solar system shift, the darkening of the sun and subsequent great solar micronova flash, the mantle heaving, crust unlocking, and great waves cleaning the slate for the next age of Earth. The sponsor for the documentary is GoldObservers.com, bringing this observer science to everyone for the first time while helping observers solidify their preparations for the event. GoldObservers.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.